this is Liz Medley, and I am so excited to be online today with Miss Kylie Riegler. Kylie Hi, and I just... Are you there, Kylie? I'm here. Hello. So Hi. Kylie and I just got to spend the weekend with the founders of Unique, Derek and Melanie, the corporate staff, and a bunch of other elite Unique presenters. We made some amazing relationships and friendships that we'll have for a long, long time. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how you need to achieve green elite status and get your butts out to Utah for an experience of a lifetime. The reason for today's webinar is to not only motivate you, but to share our experience and brief on some of our takeaways. So we're going to cover how to earn the unified trip to Utah. We're going to talk a little bit about the experience and we're going to touch base briefly on what we learned. So how to earn the unified trip and what are realistic expectations and numbers. So you need to hit elite green status twice to be invited out. Some green status averages, personally recruited average for personal teammates or direct sponsors I should say is 13 people. And on average, the lowest end of that, most people have recruited seven, and on the high end, 19 personal recruits. So it's not a lot of people. And then they also, the teams average seven people. And then on the low end of that, you have an average of 36 on a team, and an average on the high end of 101. Yes. So um, the average team company sales is was $14,800. So really that's very doable and on the low end again you've got 11,000 and the high end being around 19,000 in sales. Yeah, so dividing that by your 72 teammates pretty doable and realistic goals you can set there. I hope you guys are all writing this down. Um, the average presenter PRS was $288 per team member. On the low end to hit green status, about 107 per team member, and on the high end, 567 per team member if you've really got some go-getters on there. Yeah, and by working and focusing on the activities required to become an elite green status leader, you average like 10 hours a week, which is really part-time and totally doable managing your full-time job, family, and your new business. So your goal to get to green should be a $500 personal retail sales minimum. And really, Kylie, that um, a part-time presenter should really be holding about four to seven parties a month, which I think takes about five hours a week. You can use postcron.com to help um, use your time wisely on that. And to get to green also, you want about 12 personal recruits, people that you have personally sponsored, yeah, and so I reach out to about two people a day. Two people a day keeps leads coming your way. And on average, that probably would take about two and a half hours a week of your time. You really um, want to constantly duplicate those efforts to build your team. You want a system that others can duplicate. Yes. And so remember, the average is 72 people in your company with 288 and by teaching them how to duplicate their efforts and to build your team, again, that's going to take another about two and a half hours a week. So um, with that being said, let's move on and talk a little bit about the experience we had out in Utah. What an amazing trip. Unbelievable. We um, had such a warm welcome. We showed up at corporate. They gave us a tour. We got to see everybody's office. Uh, we were introduced to the heads of a lot of different departments, marketing, shipping, shipping, IT, accounting. They also introduced us to all their teammates and just the heart of the company and the people that make our jobs as presenters easier. Or easier. They all gave us a ton of swag and gifts. It was awesome. It was kind of like trick-or-treating. So much fun. And then we hopped on a bus, and we took about an hour bus ride over to Derek Maxfield's mansion, where we had dinner. He he was in casual clothes. He was just comfortable, like he was just having friends over for dinner. He treated us like family. Um, he just everyone has has to take off their shoes when they go into Derek's house, and when you go, you'll quickly realize why. And uh, we got to eat with his family. We met his children. It was just very much. 
um, it didn't seem like you were meeting a CEO for the first time. It was very family, very friendly. Just the atmosphere was, was awesome. Uh, the dinner was amazing. And then, um, we headed on our bus over to our cabin, which was pretty much breathtaking. And uh, very eventful too. Tell about our oh, little. So we hop on the bus and, you know, schedule, everything was scheduled out. And Derek had about an hour and a half that we would be at his home. And then, um, we hopped on the bus to head over and we got a flat tire right outside of Derek's home. And so he got some house guests for a little longer than he had planned. <laughs> <laughs> but it made it really fun because we got to ask questions and find out about what's to come with the company. And that was really exciting. But finally, when we were on our way over to the cabin, we were greeted by this sweet young girl named Brittany. She knew all of our names. She, she was just like one of us. So nice. And it's, it was like we had known her forever. Um, and then, I mean, just the view from the cabin was so amazing. Mountains on every side. It was just breathtaking. It was so awesome. Um, the quality time that we got to spend with Melanie and Derek and Tracy, it, I felt like we truly got to know them. And I did appreciate that flat tire because we got an extra hour and a half with them at their house. We all laid around on the floor and really got to ask a lot of great questions. And the friendships that we made with the other unique leaders, unbelievable. Great. It was just, totally. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, it was just crazy. I mean, Everyone's on separate teams, but we were all working toward a common goal. So no matter what walk of life each girl came from, it was just like they were your sisters. Like everyone was so nice. And, and as far as Derek and Melanie and Tracy, you would think almost intimidating. I had heard other people say before that Derek and Melanie were so nice. And, and sometimes I wondered if, if, you know, they just felt like they had to say that. But then actually meeting them, it was so true. They were just some of the kindest, sweetest people I'd ever met. It is true. So the Unique's mission, Empower, Uplift, and Validate, that is not just a company mission. I feel like it is a personal mission to Melanie and Derek, and it was just so um, contagious. Their love and kindness, it's genuine. And they didn't, you know, they didn't start this company for themselves. They started it for Derek's sister, ultimately, but really to truly women and uplift and validate and it's not just a company mission with them it truly is a personal mission and right. really did get a feel like part of their family it was really it was awesome Derek told us a little story about when um when he had just sold his software his software that he had written and he called his wife Shalane and he asked her um what he should do next. He was actually considering coaching basketball for a high school and, and going to a seminary uh, for his religion. And she said, no, I really want to start this foundation. And, and he shared more about why it was so close to home for his family and what it meant to him, which had everyone in tears. And we'll save a little bit more of those details for when you go, because it was just so special to hear that this mission is not just a random charity that they selected. It's something that really is near and dear to their hearts. Yeah, it was awesome. It brought everyone to tears. So why don't we move on a little bit to what we learned and some of our biggest takeaways, Kylie? Perfect. Um, we learned about leadership style, your style as you're leading your team. Yeah, it. I loved this assignment. So before we went, we went to this website and we answered a bunch of random questions and put things in different orders. And um, at the end of it, it gave you your leadership style. And they call it the DISC, D-I-S-C. And so I'm just going to touch base on those three areas. We will put in the comments the link so you can go and find out what your leadership style is and maybe some of your teammates' leadership styles. So you can um, delegate and people can be doing opportunities where they would be best at. So the first one was dominant. And this is like authority and challenges, prestige. Um, they like freedom. They like a, a variety of activities. And they like the bottom line approach and opportunity for um, advancement, how to interact, uh, provide direct answers, be brief and to the point, ask uh, uh, what questions, not how, and stick to results. The next one was influence, which I was pretty high on that. Kylie, was that you one of your high ones also? Oh, huge. Yes. So um, Social recognition, popularity, people to talk to, um, freedom from control and detail. Let's see, how to interact with these type of people. 
create friendly environments, provide a chance for them to verbalize about ideas, um, offer them ideas for transferring to talk into action. Um, the next one was steadiness, and this was my highest. And I like security of situations and time to adjust to change and how to best interact with me or other S's is um, show sincere interest in them as a person and provide a sincere personal and agreeable environment. Um, also focus on how questions and provide them with clarification. And then the last one is the C, conscientious. And um, these people like careful planning. They want to know exactly what the job description is. They want um, the precise expectations. Um, they like to provide, they'd like you to provide them with pros and cons of ideas and support ideas with accurate data. So just a brief on those, we will post the link so you can find out what your um, leadership style is and what some of your teammates' leadership style is. And that was really a neat um, part of our training that Tracy went over. Another really cool thing that I liked that Tracy covered was the four corners of leadership in your personal business. What are the four areas of our business? As far as leadership goes in your personal business, you really should focus on selling. Selling is huge. It's where you are going to really hit the ground running and take off in your business. If you're not selling, you're not going to go anywhere. You have to get yourself in front of those people with great products so that you will therefore have an opportunity to move forward with sponsoring. And as far as sponsoring goes, you just need to reach out to people. You need to make a list of people you know, reach out to them, and realize that this opportunity is not just for this idea that you have in your head. It's really for everyone. I can't tell you how many people on my personal team um, would not have been the first person I would have thought of. You just never know who's out there. And as far as sponsoring goes, they're going to watch your feet and not your mouth. So if you're not selling, they're not going to sell either. Um, then as far as your team business, it's very important, especially for a green status presenter, to develop leaders. As you're developing leaders, it will help you promote, and you'll see them more successful, and it will make you feel even better. Um, you're going to need to be sponsoring presenters. And it's just super, super important as far as your team. Building that team and constantly reaching out to people every single day because without that, you can't just go with the momentum you had from month one. You really need to continue that and keep sponsoring, keep selling, and keep reaching out to new people. Do you have anything to add, Liz? Um, I was going to, but you just covered it right there at the end. Um, so another thing that... We talked about which is team meetings awards and recognition so as a leader this is really important to step up and do these uh, let's talk about a little bit about team meetings uh, my local team we hold these um, monthly we do them at the beginning of every month and we're also going to start trying to do webinars uh, hopefully weekly uh, if not bi-weekly and then reaching out to you guys and finding out what you want so if there's something that you want covered don't hesitate to message Kylie or myself and just say, hey, let's talk about this next week. Or I really have a passion for this topic. Can I be on your webinar? I really want to cover this and reach out to everybody. Um, so become a guest speaker on the webinar. Um, also doing giveaways, raffle and swag. We do this at the end of every single one of our uh, local team meetings. And another really, really important thing is setting an agenda and staying on task. You don't want people to show up, take time out of their schedule to show up for you to get sidetracked and lose all intention of what the meeting was for. So set an agenda, stay on task. I have an agenda planner or a meeting planner that I would be more than happy to share with everybody. Um, and another thing is group shout outs. Recognize the highest PRS on your team or in your circle who has the most recruits going on currently for the month? Another thing that I think is great, and Kylie and I are both going to start doing this, is the top 10 on the 10th. And I think that is super and just fun to do. 
Um, so team meetings, awards, and recognitions, very important. Uh, a lot of that motivates, that recognition motivates people more than gifts sometimes or bags or anything like that. And the important thing about recognition and shout outs is it's duplicatable. Some people can't, don't have time or are unable to go and buy poach, poach purses to give away. So that's not really duplicatable. So we want to focus on things that are Shout outs and recognition is huge. What gets rewarded gets repeated, and a shout out is just that. So let's go ahead and move on and talk about coaching cycle. This is something that I really have a lot of passion for coaching and seeing other people hit goals and knowing what they're capable of before maybe they're even realizing that they're capable of it. Um, powerful leaders utilize coaching and mentoring skills to effectively nurture and grow the talent of their teams. Um, we touched base on this really quickly at Unified, and I about just like melted in my seat because I, I try it. and do it with my teammates and um, Megan Corin is one lady that she's so awesome. And I get a pleasure of talking to her every month. Nicole uh, Gill, which is Nicole Cole. Now I get a spend time with her so if any of you or your teammates are interested Kylie and I both have a few spots in our schedules for more coaching for teammates but let me um let me go through just briefly on a coaching cycle so if it's someone who is engaged and they are working their business compliment them recognize them and uh, Tracy said I was asked to think of someone with potential who wanted to grow and you immediately came to mind so as who is someone I want to work with and who has the potential and who wants to grow? Who comes to mind? Reach out to them. Uh, if it's a teammate that's disengaged, um, maybe they were hot to trot in the beginning and kind of fallen off or they signed up and really never went anywhere. Um, reach out to them. These are the disengaged teammates. Um, you can say something as simple as, hey, we haven't connected in a while. I wanted to see how your business um, is going and are you satisfied with where you're at can I support you in any way and I'm here if you want to take it to the next level just let them know that you are committed to them and that if they want your support you are here for them and maybe they're fine with only making you know 50 bucks a month if that's what they want great so you wouldn't want to coach them to make more than that um, so ask if they are satisfied and how you can support them. And the new teammate, you want to reach out to them immediately and let them know you're committed to your their success. And what is it you want out of your business? Why did you start this business? And then when they tell you, you respond with something similar as, if I could help you get that, would you allow me to coach you for the next 30 days? So these are just some ways to engage that coaching session. If you want to learn more about how to coach your team, I'd be more than happy um, to sit down with you and either let you listen to how I coach someone or even start coaching you to coach. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to versatility and leadership and life balance. Kylie, do you want to cover that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Absolutely. Uh, this topic really hit home for me because one of my biggest – uh, we'll go forward later and talk about the boats that you need to burn, but things that hold you back from success in your business. Um, one of my biggest things was guilt that I felt because I wasn't finding life balance. I wasn't, I wasn't able to do that. But Melanie talked about being a sheep herder versus being a shepherd. If you really think about being a sheep herder and a shepherd, a sheep herder is, is almost a forced act. They're forcing the sheep to follow them. The sheep are going all over the place, and, and they're really not happy. They feel like they're being pushed in one way or pushed in the other. And as far as a leader goes, that's not the kind of leader that is going to be the most successful. When you're a shepherd, your sheep are happy. And one thing I said while we were in Utah is happy sheep. They procreate and they make some more sheep. So if you are creating a system, if you are creating, you know, leaders in your company that are happy, that are that are doing a system that works, that are following you because you're representing what they want to be, you're more likely to have that duplication in your company, in your leadership. So we definitely want to be 
shepherds and not sheep herders. It's very, very important. And I just thought that was such a great comparison um, analogy as far as when Melanie was talking. And then the thing that really, really struck me was um, when she spoke about life balance. Melanie struggled with infertility. She now has four beautiful children, one of which is adopted, but God has blessed her with a family. And she spoke about how those children are just so important to her. And when she was juggling this new business, she said, when you're juggling, you need to decide which of those balls are glass and which of those balls are rubber. A glass ball cannot drop. A rubber ball, you can drop once in a while and pick it back up when you're ready. But when you're juggling, you have to decide the things in your life that are most important that you can't afford to let drop. Um, for me personally, that's my, my husband and my children. And there for a while, I was kind of uh, feeling guilty about how little time I was spending with them because I was so focused on business. But that's where time management is going to really come into play. I was so unorganized when I started my business that I was kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And her speech really just like, it just struck me. I thought, you know what? If I'm available these hours of the day, if I'm most productive in these hours of the day, then my business is going to succeed. And she did tell us, she said, guys, this just meant a lot to me. She said, guys, I want you to be successful, but not at any cost. Now, when Liz and I were at GoPro in Las Vegas, it was, it was just amazing. The energy in that room of 8,000 people that were all all going for the top of their companies. It was amazing. But it kind of blinded me a little bit to, like, no matter what, nobody will hold me back. I'm going to get to the top. But you have to evaluate your lifestyle and what's important to you. Going to the top and being a success in your business is doable even with a busy life. You just have to find that life balance and find out what's most important and prioritize those tasks throughout your day. Yeah. That really... Um, Melanie sharing her stories and the, definitely the glass ball and rubber ball really struck a chord with me also. It was really great. Um, so let's talk about success for long term. This was Derek's area that he covered. He went, went into our compensation plan and explained some other different compensation plans, which I wasn't aware of because I'm new, just like Kylie, to network marketing. But So he called ours a uni level with stair step breakaway. Why he chose this type of compensation plan was because he truly wants to empower women. And with this type of compensation plan, the first level does matter for qualified presenters that you need to promote. But your first generation elite can come from any level of your team. And what this does is it forces everyone to train deep. We need to get to know the people below us and below them and hopefully have some overlapping leadership. And it creates a culture of generosity and helping other people and helping people become the leaders that they're made to be. Um, so I thought that was really cool, him telling us why he chose that. And, I mean, it just makes sense. Like, that. it's it's just perfect. It's, it's a win for the company. It's a win for the presenters. And it's a win for our customers. Right. So I thought that was really cool. Um, another... Um, Derek shared some amazing stories. He is such a loving, amazing man. Awesome. Um, and I'm not going to share his whys and his stories because that's something special that you should hear straight from him. But he did have us listen to um, a short documentary. And it was a guy named Cortez. And he told his – they were invading a country. And he told his men to burn their boats. So the only option they had for going home was in the enemy's boat. So we're going to burn our boats. The only way that we're going to get home is by taking our enemy's boat. And it just, he shared what his boat was. What was preventing him from going all the way and making change and invading the country? Um, so think about what are your boats? What's keeping you from your dreams? What are your fears? Um, so if there, this is a quote, if there are bridges behind us and bullets start flying, we're going to take the bridge. So be aware of what's preventing you from reaching your goals and really playing big in life and burn them, flush them, do away with it. So that's all that we're going to talk about today. 
So we went over how to earn the trip to you tonight. Liz, can I add something to that really quick? Absolutely. Um, as far as burning your boats, one thing Derek said that I thought stood out and was so cool is he said, back to the mission that Unique is out or is set out to accomplish. Um, he said many women in their lives have boats that they did not put there as far as, wow. you know, you know, being sexually assaulted and, um, and it's something that holds them back that they have no control over. So part of Unique's mission is to help women be able to burn those boats so that they can move on in their life. And I thought that was so amazing. That is amazing. Ugh. And that like brings me to tears. You saying that just because that was such an emotional and just a, it's an unbelievable experience, you guys. You have to do whatever it takes to get there. If you are already scheduled to go, email them every other week. Email them and see if they've had a spot open up. You've got to get out there. Liz, weren't you on a wait list and you were able to get in last minute? Yeah, I was on the wait list, and I bugged my hair up regularly. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go, and it's, it's just amazing. And, again, the friendships. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Is there anything else you want to add, Kylie? No, I think you pretty much covered it. One thing that I did think of just really quickly, um, what you were talking about with the compensation plan and, and when Derek mapped it out, what they really said is they were looking for our, our best interest as leaders in that comp plan so that instead of a downline, it's truly a success line. So it's not a pyramid in that the person that started you know, at ground level is going to be the most successful. We know that Sherry Brown is our top earner, but that top earner could still be to come because of the way of our compensation plan. So never get discouraged that you didn't get in in the first 100000 or or whenever you started because at any point you can have true success with the way that our compensation plan is built. Absolutely. Uh, you're amazing, Kylie. Thank you so How much. You? Love you. on the call. And until next time, we'll see you then. Get to Utah. Bye. Bye, girls.